Hi, I'm Zach with Hardy North America. Today we're going to be doing a nozzle calibration or a catch test. Items needed are Hardy calibration jug, a stopwatch, and your proper PPE, which includes a face shield, long sleeves, both pants and arms, and rubber gloves. This spray we're using today is brand new and hasn't had any chemical through it, and we just filled it up with clean water, so I will not be wearing that today. So completing the flow calibration from inside the cab, we're gonna go into the menu. We're gonna go down and select calibration. We're gonna select flow calibration and enter in. And then today we're gonna to do a nozzle method. Uh, we're gonna enter into there. So we'll follow the sections on the screen, open all sections. And then turn on the master flow section. Our ounces will start to count as it sprays out. Um, we have Zach out at the sprayer. He's gonna catch for one minute. Um, All right, Ben is up in the cab running the controls up there. So now I'm gonna catch this nozzle for one minute and we're gonna see what it comes out to be. All right, that there's one minute. And you can see here on our jug, about 46 liter fluid ounces in there. So now what we'll do is we'll go up to the cab and we'll enter that into our controller. After one minute, he, he received that he caught 46 ounces. So while the sprayer is spraying, it's critical to keep everything um, untouched as far as your, your RPMs and your sections, keeping everything on. While it's spraying and still counting here, we'll enter in the, the number of ounces that we caught. It'll recalculate our PPU number, and then we can enter and accept it. Uh, a flow calibration is something that we recommend you do every season. Um, after the first season, it's ideal to probably catch a nozzle from every section. So on a nine section boom like we have here, um, catch nine different times, average your flow together, and then use that as your, uh, your number of ounces to enter into your nozzle method.